we've said that when we compute the limit as x approaches c, what happens at the c itself doesn't matter. Let's try to drive that home by looking at some related examples. Here are three functions, f, g, and h. And these functions are almost identical to each other. In fact, they are identical to each other, except at a single number. At three, they're different. This function is not defined at three. This function equals five at three. This function equals zero at three. Uh, but everywhere else, they're identical. Here's F, here's G, here's H. You can see their graphs are exactly the same, except at one point x equals 3, where they're different. And now let's investigate the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x. And we'll investigate this using a table, just as we did in our first example. And from this table, you see we've got x versus f of x. It certainly appears that as x is getting closer and closer to 3, f of x is getting closer and closer to five. And you'll notice one number conspicuously absent from this table. We do not ask what happens at the three itself. We only ask what happens as x approaches three. And from the table, it looks like as x approaches 3, f of x approaches 5. What about the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x? Well, remember our observation that these functions are identical everywhere except for three. Here's the table for f of x. Here's the table for g of x. They're identical because the one number where f and g are different, three, isn't allowed to be on this table. So as x approaches 3, g of x approaches 5, just like f of x does. What about the limit as x approaches 3 of h of x? Well, again, these functions are all identical. The only point where they differ is at 3 itself. And when we construct these tables, we don't look what happens at three itself. So the table for h of x is exactly 
exactly the same as the table for g of x, is exactly the same as the table for f of x. And once again, as x approaches 3, these values are approaching 5. And these are our limits. And the fact that at 3 itself, these functions take on different values did not affect the limit. If you take the limit as x approaches 3, x does not equal 3. And similarly for any number. If you take the limit as x approaches c, what happens at c doesn't matter, only what happens near c.